Peace to everybody. Back with another video. Uh, I just found something on Google and this is it. Um, as you can see here in the picture is all these people that are involved with George Soros. Obama is one of them. And I don't want nobody telling me, oh, well, Obama's not part of it. Yes, he is part of it. Here you got Bill Gates who wants to poison everybody with his fake vaccines. Over here behind him with the ho hoodie is George Soros himself. And then over here with Obama, I don't know who these people are, but they are all connected to George Soros, including Obama. So Obama is not who you think he is. All right, so COVID-19 to George Floyd to caravans. Is Soros now the world's most versatile, dangerous conspiracy theory? My answer is yes, he is dangerous. Why do you think we're going through all this crap right now? The looters, the rioters, funded by George Soros himself. Um, he has funded other things too, like the Rona is a hoax. Funded by George Soros. Get it? Connect everything to George Soros. George Soros, financier, Jew, and donor to liberal causes, is the initial target of conspiracy theories bearing his name. But as both the hard left and right push the Soros slur, the re repercussions are far wider and more damaging. Well, guess what? He is dangerous. Um, he is a liberal, and he cannot be trusted at all. Now, he does live somewhere here in New York State. I just don't know where, but people are looking for him because they want a, his head on a platter, including Putin, because he wants him bad, too. So George Soros cannot be trusted for anything. So anything that George Soros is coming up with, he's lying to you. He's giving you all these fake events that you people are falling for. This is why I don't fall for him because I know everything is connected to George Soros. He is worth billions. And he just recently spent $33 million dollars. To have riots staged, looters staged, so this way the Patriots will get blamed for everything that he has done. Is Soros behind the war on, ugh, I apologize for this word, hydroxychloroquine? Yes, he is behind it. So, Quirin did a heady headline on the U.S. Evangelicals oriented breaking Israel news site earlier this week. The piece suggests that George Soros, a Hungarian born American billionaire philanthropist, is said to benefit both financially from the Rona pandemic and politically by undermining President Donald Trump. So that's what he's been doing is undermining President Donald Trump because he does not care about America. He's not American. He's Hungarian. And he is the one that's causing all of this mess to people who he is harming. And here you are believing everything this man is doing. 
Oh, I know there are some of you liberals that are saying, oh, well, he's not doing anything bad. Oh, we approve it. Uh, excuse me, wake the heck up, please. George Soros is dangerous. Funding the riots. Funding the looters. Paying these people to do this. Uh, yeah. The U.S. president has been pushing use of hydroxychloroquine as an antidote to or preventative measure against the virus and last week announced that he was taking it himself. Yes, yeah, so Donald Trump was taking it himself. Okay, so this medicine has been around for 80 plus years. Why do you think that is? Because the FDA approved it. It was safe to take, and they're using this as an excuse to get rid of the Rona. It doesn't do anything. The Rona was a hoax. That's why this medicine has been around for 80 plus years. A bit of research into the separate elements shows some disturbing connections, indicating the media war against hydroxychloroquine may be hacked by some nefarious forces. The piece opens. Of course it's been hijacked. It has been hijacked. After this medicine has been around for 80 plus years. Hello, wake up. You can't get no better than this because you know what? I mean, I mean seriously, George Soros is too dangerous. Who knows what else is going to come out of him next? He's already tried the, this Rona, and he kind of figured, well, this is not. They're not falling for it. Well, some people did fall for it, like a like a bunch of dummies. So he kind of figured, well, let's do the race war thing. Bingo! He has you killing each other by believing what he's doing. He wants a race war because he wants you to hate the police. And well, I mean, there are bad police. Don't get me wrong. I would mention the one word, but I better not because I better keep my mouth shut on that before I get in trouble. There are bad cops that are deep state. And you are supposed to be going after them, not the good cops. So George Soros kind of figured, well, the, the run is not working, so we're, we're, we're going to do a race war. Bingo! You're doing it because of George Soros. Wake up and you know, overthrow these shadow governments. Overthrow George Soros while you're at it. Because he's having you fighting against each other now. And what's going to happen when, when they're, well, already martial law is coming into place right now. A mini one. Now you have to be in a house at a certain time. Because if you're caught being out after a certain time, you're going to jail. Like it or not. And because of the deep state and George Soros, they're trying to make this country a one world order and a one world government. And I don't want to be in it. I'm sick of this with George Soros. Always getting everything his way like a little whiny baby. Because that's what he is. And he's causing all of this. Here is one of... I on Q um, Twitter thing. You can go follow Eyes on Q because they've been dropping jewels left and right. It, and of course is and of course Eyes on Q as is Soros behind the war on hydroxychloroquine. And I'm gonna say yes because this medicine has been around for eighty plus years. So guess what, George Soros? Nice try with that one. 
now you're doing the race war. That's what he's doing. All right. And of course, um, Carolyn Fox, she answered, he's behind any and everything evil in this country. And yes, he is behind any and everything evil in this country because they want, because he wants a one world order. And you know what? It's not going to happen because you know what? Now that it, people are waking up, except for the sheeple that are still asleep and they better wake their butts up. He's trying to get a one world order, but you know what? It's failing because a lot of people are starting to catch on to him. And people are catching on to all the lies that has been going on. The liberal media only shows you destruction. They don't show you nothing good at all. They're only about destruction. And chaos. And whatever else they could come up with. They're not going to tell you the, the good things or anything like that. Because they don't care. Overthrow the government and overthrow the news media because you know what? It's pathetic what they are doing. Once the liberal media catches what they want to catch, they're going to show it on TV and all they are is nothing but chaos, destruction. That's it. Nothing good comes out of it. There is, to be clear, no war on hydroxychloroquine, but rather a plethora of warnings of its serious side effects, including a higher risk of heart problems and even death. The World Health Organization has halted clinical trials for the drug in France, has just banned its use in Rona-19 cases, citing patient safety concerns. Well, of course, because Donald Trump... Is getting a little tired of it. And here you all want to blame Donald Trump. Well, he's racist. Uh, excuse me? When is when did Donald Trump become racist? He never became, became racist. That's why these liberal medias are lying about him. You got to think between the lines of what he's really doing. Go behind the scenes of what he's really doing. He's doing good for the American people, all right? So I don't want to hear, well, he's a racist, he's this, he's that. Because you know what, I'm going to call you a damn liar straight out, one way or the other. He is not racist at all because he doesn't believe that. He's doing good for people. And all you liberals are over here believing what the liberal media is telling you. They're not telling you the truth at all. And you better open your eyes. The somewhat of structure breaking news Israel is hardly alone in figuring sorrows as the hidden hand behind Rona 19. The theory is all over pro-Trump hard right social media and right wing news platforms with soft spots for conspiracy theories from gateway Pundit to Trump's newest best friend, One America Network. Yes, yeah, so Israel is in the middle of it too, of course, yes, because they're evil. They're doing evil over there too. Um, Soros, he gets his hands on everything that he can think of right now, and he's causing all this chaos. And crime all over the all over the world, and he does not have remorse whatsoever because he does not care. I was in somebody's chat, but I didn't chat. I was reading the chat, and somebody came out and said that George Soros allegedly killed his own family now you figure that one out why you think that is why do you think that is that he did that to his own family hmm? yeah 
That's what he did. Allegedly killed his own family. Now, try and deal with that and see how that fits your narrative. How should we understand this latest iteration of the storied and ever versatile anti soros uh, smear uh. campaign, which invertibly paint him as ringleader of a global conspiratorial plot? Of course he's the ringleader. And guess who's behind him? Hillary Clinton? Obama, Comey, um, uh, the mayor in Minneapolis, Minnesota, he's a Hillary supporter, um, and there's other people too. He's the ringleader, and as you can see here, the ringleader himself. Most clearly, the Soros as hydroxychloroquine antagonist conspiracy theory has something in common with many a Soros conspiracy theory. Yeah, so, yeah, so mostly, most clearly Soros antagonized conspiracy theory. So he's causing a lot of harm to people. He doesn't care. He doesn't care what you what you people think. He only cares about what he's doing. He's selfish. There's nothing good with this man ever. 89 years old, going on 90. Some There are some people that are literally want him, want his head on a platter. I ain't got nothing to do with it. He lives somewhere here in New York State. I just don't know where. But whoever lives around his way, they better lynch him fast and ask him a whole bunch of questions. Why is he doing this? While Soros himself as a financer, Jew, and donor to liberal causes is the in, in initial target, Soros has also become a metonym for any opposition to the worldview, not just of full-time conspiracy theories, but also of more mainstream and powerful pol politicians and com commentators. Soros' conspiracies are thus also a tool to delegitimize that op opposition. Yeah, so he's making a lot of, a lot of, chaos and while soros himself as a financer yeah what financer jew and donor to liberal causes that means the evil causes that he's doing is the initial target soros has also become a mentonium for any opposition to the worldview not just a full-time conspiracy theories well you know what the conspiracy theories yes we do find stuff on people that are going to be lying about a lot of things and yes we're called crazy for a reason because they think we're all freaking crazy but guess what you better wake up and start doing a research on george soros and his foundation This man has caused so much harm to humanity, it's not funny at all. What's going to happen when he, when, what's going to happen when somebody comes to get you, lynch you, and whatever else? You better start blaming George Soros because this man is pure evil to the core. Oh, happy belated birthday to Donald Trump, by the way. Shout out to him. Soros himself is, of course, the most obvious target. Oh, yes, he is the most obvious target because everybody wants him dead. D-E-A-D, -E dead. People are tired of his, his fiddle fallowing around with humanity. They're tired of him. And when they find him, boy, they better do some serious court trials, hanging, or whatever. Today, as protesters across the United States take to the streets against police brutality, the name George Soros trends on Twitter, 
right-wingers assert that these protesters are not genuinely expressing grief and anger about the continued killing of black Americans by police officers, but are demonstrating because they were put up to it by Soros. Some prominent conservatives are even saying Soros should be arrested. Bingo, and I agree with the conservatives. Arrest George Soros. Thank you. I agree with the conservatives. They should arrest him. And um, he's also, um, now the peaceful protesters, they don't destroy their own um, business or anything. They're not like that. They're peaceful. Um, and they are not the type to go around destroying business or anything like that. All right. They're not. They don't do something like that. And, um. It's sad that the rioters and the looters that are hired by George Soros, and of course, yes, the rioters and looters do have handlers that pay them to destroy the businesses and everything. They use hammers, bricks, anything they can get their hands on. That's who these looters and rioters are. They destroy everything. And while... The American people are getting blamed for this. Now, it, it came to a point where the patriots are trying to hate each other, but it's not going to work because as long as every is uniting, that they are going to, are going to, um, stand together against this because people are sick and tired of all this mess that George Soros is doing. Soros himself is of course the, oh okay, today, oh I already read that, what the heck, oh there here is Bill Mitchell, is um, GOP stop coddling George Soros. Arrest him, seize his assets, seize his records, arrest his co-conspirators, charge him with seditious conspiracy, try him, then throw him in prison for the rest of his miserable life. You know what? I agree with this. I I really do agree with this. He should be arrested because, you know, he's out here committing all these crimes <laughs> against humanity. All right, and the deep state is helping him right along with them, including Hillary Clinton. Oh, by the way, she has court in the morning <laughs> for what I mean for her indictments. Um, because the indictments have already been have already been taken care of. So now Hillary Clinton will be in court in the morning in in the morning or afternoon, whichever comes first. Um, but I agree with this. They are saying GOP stop coddling George Soros. They, they are, the Patriots are sick and tired of him as it is. They want him arrested now. Nor is this a holy 2020 phenomenon. In 2018, ahead of the U.S. midterm, Soros was blamed for everything, from protests against then Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh to a migrant caravan threatening to invade America's southern border. Okay, the caravans that were allegedly coming to America. George Soros funded them. How do you think they got this far? They were on buses. They were nice and clean and everything else. They were actors, in case you didn't know. All these two and the people that you have seen with food, where do you think they got that from? 
where do you think they got that from? All that, all that food. They had to stop at Mickey D's or somewhere. Wendy's, maybe? I don't know. But they had to stop somewhere for food before they kept continuing on. Remember that tra that one truck, the trailer where everybody was on it? Uh, yeah, think about that. All those people were clean. They were showered, everything. Clean clothes, everything. Alright, here's um, Representative Matt Gaz. He says, breaking footage in Honduras giving crash two women and children to join the caravan and storm the U.S. border. At election time, Soros, U.S. fact NGOs, time to investigate the source. And yes, it is time to investigate the source because everything leads to George Soros. Think about all the events, the caravan, the Rona, now this, the race wars that George Soros want. Mm, think of how many other stuff he's doing. <sighs> Caesar Sayak mailed Soros among other high profile and liberal learning figures a pipe bomb. His social media accounts were full of anti Semitic and pro Trump memes, one of which described Soros as a Judeo plutocratic. Bolshevik Zionist. The Pittsburgh synagogue shooter claimed Soros was secretly behind the migrant caravan. He killed 11 Jews in prayer, whom he blamed for participating in the plot. Yes, so, so George Soros is a Zionist. You can't get any more evil, more evil than that. Can't go any lower than that. Now, the Pittsburgh Seneca shooter claims Soros was secretly behind the migrant caravan. Of course he is. He funded them. He funded all, this, all the caravans. He found handlers to give these people money. Uh, hello? Wake up? Think about it? He killed 11 Jews in prayer whom he blamed for participating in the plot. So the guy who participated in the plot had killed 11 Jews. Think about it. Sorrows. That same year, citing an increasingly representative political and legal environment in Hungary, Open Society Foundation Soros Philanthropic Operation announced its international operations would move from Budapest to Berlin. Clearly, Soros himself is a key subject to these conspiracy theories, and they directly impact him and his philanthropic work. So all the stuff that he was doing turned out to be fake, hoax, psyops, you know, the word psyops, if you don't know what it means, it means psychological operations. That's psyops. And you people are falling for it. This entire world is a stage. And we're all actors. Well, except for me. Because I don't participate in his stupid, his stupid evil ways anymore. After I had to find out that a certain 19-year-old girl was a psyop. So this is why the world is a stage and everybody is an actor. All of us. I know some of you don't take kindly to acting or whatever, but that's good that you don't because it's better that you don't get caught up in this mess. I got caught up in a, in a, in a psyop that I should have never got caught in, in the first place, but you know what? It's too late now because now I'm here exposing the lies that come out of this out of this moron. George Soros is not to be trusted ever. 
Stop believing anything what the liberal media is telling you because they all they show is chaos and destruction. There is nothing they are doing is good. They don't show nothing good unless there's cute little pets they want to adopt and that's it. But other than that, chaos, destruction, that's all they're about. Turn off your TV or change the channel, whichever comes first. But in my case, I say turn off the TV because then you won't have to hear nothing about it. Here's um, a George Soros mural, I think it is. I don't know. This, oh, it's a billboard thing, but they're um, removing or displaying George Soros and his plan to settle a million migrants in Europe per year. And this is Budapest, Hungary, October 5th, 2017. So people are... So this guy is starting to um, displacing his um, billboard thing because he's like, yeah, you... So this guy's like, look, I got to get rid of this guy. I don't want him up here on his billboard anymore. He's got to go now immediately because he's causing harm to people. So that's what this guy is doing. But Soros, whose net worth is estimated to be $8.3 billion, is not the only victim. There are many others who don't have billions and who are also damaged by Soros conspiracy theories. So George Soros is worth $8.3 billion, but I think it's a lot more than that right now. But he just re he just <laughs> spent over $33 million for this fake protest. Uh, what more can you ask for? Every, he's, Literally, he's spending millions of dollars every time he wants something done, an event done. How can you not notice that these things are all fake, what he's doing? When I was stringing all these live streams, stringing all the riots together, I knew right away it was George Soros doing all right, I knew it was. I, I had connected all to him. He's the reason for this. And the plant agents, you know, those Antifa people? Yeah, those plant agents. Where, why do you think bricks were popping up everywhere? Mm, think about that. Bricks were planted there. To throw at windows and everything else. They were planted there by the agents that were going to accuse the Patriots of doing. To take the hydroxychloroquine, I mean the Rona example, it's not just Soros who's being attacked. It's also an attempt to delegitimize science itself as being contaminated by Soros while boosting a right-wing political force. Yeah, well, because the, the Republicans know that what he is doing is wrong. They're on to him. They know he's doing all this evil stuff because he wants a one world order and a one world government, which I do not want. I don't want this kind of life. One world government and one world order. This is why people need to rise up against the evil corruption of the police, the governments, and everything else that comes right along with George Soros. Here is Eric Carmen on Twitter. All you need to know, and of course, Tony, I don't know if it's a woman or man, I think Tony with an I is a woman, I don't know, but she, whatever it is, has got a picture of George Soros 
on her, the Twitter account. And on it says, China must leave the new world order, creating its owning it and supplanting the United States as the world's economic superpower. George Soros. Uh, now do you understand? He wants China involved? Uh, no, because it's not going to happen. And now, now with the the shadow governments, their plan is failing every day because they think, well, we're going to get away. Uh, no, they're not getting away with it because people are waking up. This is the great awakening right now. And people are waking up except for the sheeple that are still asleep and believing all this garbage, which they need a slap in the face to, for a dose of reality. And this is what George Soros wants. He wants China, China must lead the new world order. Uh, yeah, but then, of course, you got to worry about Hillary Clinton. But then that, that clown is going to be in court in the morning or afternoon, whichever comes first, like I said, for her indictments. So there's like over 180,000 indictments already. But they're not going to put it on TV to tell you. They're not going to tell you on TV. You got to go look for them yourself. You got to go dig for them to find out where the real truth is. And there are some Q um, Twitter accounts that I am following on Twitter. And yes, I like I said, I know Q is not real, but they've been dropping good jewels here and there to show the patriots what's really happening and even the stupid mayor of my city got caught on camera finally now you think the q people are not everywhere uh guess again they're everywhere no matter what you can't hide from them they have cameras hidden where you don't know where they are This is why they're all over the place. Because they, they want to get rid of this evil government. And we cannot let them, let the evil government win. Because if it falls into their hands, goodbye. We're all dead after that. Insinuating a Soros plot is a deliberate distraction from the 100,000 and counting. American dead. It is an excuse not to take responsibility. A pivot by a president who, ref who refused to take the virus seriously at first and now recommends popping a miracle pill that could kill them. Uh, what miracle pill? That's going to kill somebody. Hmm? Hmm? I wonder what miracle pill that's going to be. <laughs> Can't be the hydroxychloroquine because the FDA approved it a long time ago. So it ain't that. And of course Donald Trump is not going to take this virus seriously because he knows it's a false flag. Donald Trump is not that stupid. He's a smart man. He knows what he's doing. Donald Trump knows what he's doing, but everybody's talking bad about him. Well, he's racist, blah, blah, blah. Stop believing the liberal media, will you? Slap yourself in the face for a good dose of reality, will you? Back in 2018, the New York Post jumped on the Soros connection of two women who confronted then-Senator Jeff Flake over the confirmation of Brett Kavanaugh accused of attempted sexual assault. Look who was behind the Jeff Flake <coughs> elevator setup. The headline read, the implication being that Soros pushed the two women to confront the senator. So now you understand why George Soros is all doing all this. And this happened in 2018, two years ago. That the New York Post jumped on the Soros connection, of course, the liberal media, of two women who confronted then-Senator Jeff 
flake over the confirmation of Brett Kavanaugh. So now they was going to blame Brett Kavanaugh for the sexual assault, which never happened. And uh, accused of attempted sex. Look who was behind the Jeff Blake elevator setup. The headline read, the implication being that Soros pushed the two women to confront the senator. So George Soros pushed two women to confront Jeff Flake for a sexual assault. He never did either. That never happened either. Connect the dots, people. Connect all the dots to George Soros, will you? That the center that employed the protesters received money from open society was a fact, but the idea that Soros was behind the particular confrontation and the protests more generally was not only untrue but insulting to a substantial number of people, some themselves survivors of sexual assault who freely choose to speak up against Kavanaugh's speedy conflict Information. Soros' trope was more than insulting. It was delegitimizing. Yeah, so, they, there were more women that were coming out saying, Oh, well, Ke Brett Kavanaugh sexually assaulted me. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, it never happened. It was all a lie. They took this man and Fired him for what? For a fake sexual assault? That never happened? All these women lied and said that he did this. And that was not true at all. It also has that the center that employed the protesters received money from open society was a fact. Yes, people took money from open society because that's what George Soros was ha was having, was an open society. And people did take money. That is true. Because he paid them. This is why these protesters, or these fake protesters that are looters and rioters, they have handlers. The handlers then tell the people oh, where to go to to do this and do that. They tell them what street to go to, what businesses to destroy, and how to destroy them. That's why bricks are planted everywhere. And I'm surprised you don't ask yourself, why are these bricks here if there's no construction going on. Think about it. Here's Donald Trump's tweet from Twitter. That was October 5th of 2018. He says, the very root elevator scammers are paid professionals, only looking to make senators look bad. Don't fall for it. Also, look at all of the professionally made identical signs. Paid for by Soros and others. These are not signs made in the basement from love. Hashtag troublemakers. And he is right. They are rude elevator scammer screamers. They are paid professionals. So these are paid professionals. Only looking to make senators look bad. Don't fall for it. <laughs> so Donald Trump is telling you right here, he says, don't fall for it. The same goes for Rudy Giuliani's unhinged attack on Soros' Jewishness late last year after calling Soros <laughs> of controlling U.S. diplomats. He declared, Soros is hardly a Jew. I'm more of a Jew than Soros is. 
He doesn't belong to a synagogue. He doesn't support Israel. He's an enemy of Israel. He's a horrible human being. Giuliani was talking about Soros, the individual, and handily pointing out his Jewish origins for an appreciative hard right. But he was also using Soros to slur and to delegitimize Democrat voting U.S. Uh -huh. Jews. Some 80% of American Jews in the 2018 midterms. Yeah, so he, he was doing, yeah, so Giuliani had proved his point. Soros is not Jewish. He's 100% pure Hungarian. That's why Budapest, Hungary, uh, yeah. And of course, the same goes for Rudy Giuliani on his attack on Soros' Jewishness late last year. So Giuliani was getting attacked too last year. Now think about it. It why would why do you think Rudy Giuliani got attacked? It's because of George Soros, because George Soros wants everybody to believe. Oh well, Rudy Giuliani is this. Rudy. Rudy Giuliani is that. Uh, no. Rudy Giuliani is Donald Trump's lawyer. One of them. Thank you. Um, he also declares Soros is hardly a Jew. I'm more of a Jew than Soros is. He doesn't belong to a synagogue. No, he doesn't. Soros don't belong to a synagogue. He doesn't support Israel. Oh, <laughs> Please imagine if Israel ever had him. He's an enemy of Israel. And yes, he is an enemy of Israel. Israel don't want him. They would have to murder him if he was to come there. He's a horrible human being. And I agree with Rudy Giuliani 100% that he is a horrible human being. Here is, is Rudy Giuliani's tweet on his Twitter. This is from December 24, 2019. Soros has funded many enemies to the state of Israel, including groups that support BDS, whose ultimate goal is to destroy the Jewish homeland. Those who oppose these groups are not only better Jews, but better people than him. Most certainly not anti-semitic so yeah so this is what rudy giuliani had posted on his twitter that was december 24 2019 that was christmas eve that he put it on there so he was proving his point 100 percent <laughs> it's no accident that donald trump used the same tech of trying to police and demean his Jewish political opponents a few months earlier, announcing that voting for a Democrat means you're being disloyal to Jewish people and you're being very disloyal to Israel. Well, yes, yeah, so this is why it's no accident that Donald Trump used the same tack of trying to police and demean his Jewish political opponents. Donald Trump has no problems with anybody. He loves people. This is how Donald Trump is. He loves people. The only thing he don't like are the corrupt governments. He does not like them. He hates them. He does not care what they have to say. He don't listen to them. He's got a mind of his own. And yet people are talking bad about him still. Oh, well, Trump is racist. Trump is a Zionist. Trump is this. Trump is that. Uh, excuse me. How about decriminalizing yourself from the, from the um, liberal media? How about doing that? Get rid of the criminal media. Stop watching CNN, the criminal news network. 
The United States is hardly alone in pushing conspiracy theories that smear Soros, yes, but also push the people supported by his philanthropy further into the mar margins. Yes, yeah, so the United States is hardly alone in pushing conspiracy theories. And of course, George Soros is going to be smeared all over the place because his filthy hands are into everything. The Hungarian parliament, which has already passed the Stop Soros Law criminalizing assistance to undocumented immigrants, recently ratified legislation obscenity due to the corona pandemic, which gave Prime Minister Viktor Orban unchecked power. Orban said on state radio that those critical of the move were part of a network led by Soros. Those tentacles reached deep into the Brussels bureaucracy. Yes, so the, hung he's a, the Hungarian parliament. All right, so, and of which has already passed the Stop Soros Law Criminalizing Assistance to Undocumented Immigrants. So Soros has been getting away with all this other stuff, too, because he doesn't, and then, of course, he's going to go and blame everybody in the world. So he doesn't take the blame for nothing. This is why his filthy hands are into everything with his filthy money because he wants everything done the way he wants it done. And then when people unite together, then he has a hissy fit about everything, acting like a little baby who needs a baby bottle. Like Orban's previous attacks on Soros, his conspiracy theory smacks of anti sentimentism with his whispers of, of a Jewish financier controlling politicians all over the world and the nefarious intention to turn nation states more com cosmopolitan or globalist. But it does something else too. It renders moot any criticism and any critics of Orban's parliamentary power grab. But yeah, so that's what it does. But of course, you know, George Soros always, always whining and crying about everything that he wants for himself. He wants this. He wants that. And then when he don't get it his way, well, I'm going to find something else to do. I'm going to... I mean, he, it's like acting like a little child. It was in Budapest... Incidentally, that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's son, Yair Netanyahu, said that radical Soros organizations were destroying Israel from the inside, working day and night with an unlimited budget to rob the country of its Jewish identity. So this is what Jewish identity was being destroyed by little old George Soros himself. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's son, Yar Netanyahu, said that radical Soros, so Soros is radical. He's a radical, um, le uh, radical left um, shadow government. This is why he has an open society, so he can do whatever he pleases. But people are catching on to him right now and of course here's this um twitter thing from rudy giuliani jal count and yar you uh for what he has done or, or for what he is saying on his twitter there is a conscious insult aimed at Soros, but more significantly, it is also about delegitimizing those causes. Soros and open society supported Israel and the Palestinian ter territories, such as providing scholarships for 
Palestine students in the West Bank and Gaza and funding human rights groups using the judicial system to challenge discrimination. If Soros efforts are destructive, the thinking goes, then these Palestinian students and Israeli activists are too. So yeah, so he's got an open society for the scholarships, the territories, West Bank and Gaza. Oh yeah. Also human rights group using the judicial system to challenge discrimination. Yeah, we know how discriminating George Soros is. We know how discriminating he is. And while the right wing provides the most notorious examples of blaming the media meta Soros for decent and a, to strip activists of agency, there are offenders on left too. Yes, so the right wing has provides the most notorious examples of blaming the meta Soros for decent and to strip activists so that's what they're doing because they know what george soros is about and when he and what he is doing when for example max blum blue menthol goes on the jimmy door show to allege that soros is funding regime change in venezuela and hong kong he mm -hmm. reduces those protesting by great personal risk to mere pawns. So we're the pawns and he's the one causing all of the destruction all over the place. For example, Max Blumenthal goes on the Jimmy Dore show to allege that Soros is funding regime change in Venezuela. So Venezuela there's nothing. They have no water, no food, no nothing. And of course, they're suffering more than everything. At least they're letting you believe that. Uh, here's a Twitter by Matthew from May 18th, 2020 on Jimmy Dore's show. As you can see here. Thousands in Hong Kong have taken to the streets to protest national security laws imposed by Beijing to say that there are Soros stooges or shields removes their individual co capacity and vol volition to think, choose, and take sides. It also acts to whitewash and legitimize the authorian regimes against whom they're protesting. Yeah, so Hong Kong, they're protesting against the national security laws because they are sick and tired of these alleged communists taking over their lives and that. And they just want to be left alone. That's all they want. They want to be left alone. They're sick and tired of all these crap that is going on this is why Hong Kong comes by the millions to protest against the um, national security laws. Conspiracy theories about Soros, you've been called as though they are, must be disputed. And not only because they are factually incorrect or because they are unfair. To one man, they are also unfair to the many men and women whom these conspiracy theories patronize and delegitimize and often further mar marginalize. Well, you know, these conspiracy theories, yeah, we do a lot of searching, okay? We dig and dig and dig to see what we could find about this and that about Soros, but this is now where I'm going to start attacking Soros, allegedly. You have through, they are, must be disputed. All right, and also, of course, everything is unfair, what's going on in Hong Kong and all around the world because of George Soros.
those pushing the Soros conspiracy theories are well aware of their myline power. The rest of us need to be too. So yeah. Um, of course, the Soros conspiracy theories are well aware of their myline power. So the rest of us should be too. So we need to know what is going on with Soros and why he is doing this to us. You know, and it's sad for what he is doing to everybody in this uh, in this planet because he's getting away with too much stuff and he does not care anymore. He has no remorse. He's endangering all of humanity. He's killing everybody whenever he feels like it to fit his agenda. And, you know, in the open society, I think think somebody needs to do some research on that and see what they could come up with because you know what this is way too much and too out of control of what he is doing to everybody with this open society thing causing all chaos and everything else to everybody so this is why he needs to be stopped now before it is too late leave your comments below i am out